In this project, we are going to model a building in Google SketchUp with Transy's 3D plugin. The building has two distinct zones with an adjacent wall. Each zone has three windows on one wall and one window on the other wall. First zone is called Lower 1 and second zone is called Lower 2. The building file is imported in Transy Simulation Studio through Type 56, which is multi-zone building component. By editing the Type 56, the building file is opened in TransBuild where we can define building materials, heating, cooling, ventilation, and controls. The building is connected with a weather data file. We have also defined schedules for occupancy of building by people for working days and for weekends. The schedules are combined to give one output signal to the controls. Similarly, we have defined schedules for lights and equipments for weekdays and for weekends. We have also defined the convection coefficient. Here we have defined the gains from people, lights, and equipment, which will add to the cooling load of the building. Here is the area of single zone, which is same for both zones. After calculating cooling and heating load of the building in Simulation Studio, we add a suitable heat pump, which will keep the temperature of zone to the set point temperature. Here we define the volume rate of air for the zones. Under the heat pump, we have three different thermostats which will monitor the zone temperature and thus giving signal to heat pump to turn it on or off depending upon the set point temperature. In our case, set point temperature for cooling is 24 degrees Celsius and 18 degrees Celsius for heating. In the HVAC settings, we have defined different equations for ventilation, set point temperatures for heating and cooling, how much fresh air should be mixed with return air, when fan will be turned on, and controls for auxiliary heating. The outputs from heat pump to the building are volume flow rate, temperature, and relative humidity of air. Now let's run the simulation. Here we can see that the temperature of zone lower one remains between 18 and 25.
Let's check the temperature in cooling season. It remains around 24. Now let's check the temperature in the heating season. It remains above 18 degrees Celsius. Let's see the temperature profile of zone lower 2. We did not add any heat pump to this zone. It is behaving like the ambient temperature. We can clearly see the difference between controlled temperature of zone lower 1 and uncontrolled temperature of zone lower 2. In the upcoming videos, we are going to design this HVAC system from scratch. Stay tuned and subscribe the channel.